Hey guys, I'm back at it again, charging batteries, testing out different kinds. So for today's test, I decided that I was going to test the Eneloops versus the, I think these are the Amazon ones. I'm not sure, but here we go. So we got the, uh, are we going to focus or not? There we go. So the 2800 milliamp hours. These are the nickel metal. And then comparing it to the blue Anna loops, which are, let's see if they have a capacity. Here we go. So 1900 milliamp hours. And we have the other white Anna loops, which are also 1900. So for this test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up four in each one and these are still charging so the video is going to be cut but I'm going to charge all three different kinds and four at a time that way we can kind of get the average and we will see how good they are and if the antelopes are worth paying the premium price for the 1900 milliamps and if they are 1900 or are the cheaper ones more worth the money because they're cheaper and you get more milliamp hours so I'm going to load these up and I guess we'll go with, let's go with the, the cheaper ones because in theory they have more milliamps and they might take longer to charge. And uh, we will see the results and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm just gonna unplug the power, plug it back in. That way we can get them all synced at the same time. So we will do the the normal test and that's going to charge it at 500 milliamps. Then it's going to discharge it and then recharge it and give us the full capacity, the resistance and all that good stuff. So, and then once my other cells finish up their test that I'm working on, I will load up the white antelopes and the blue antelopes and let all those go through the cycles and I will update you with the results. All right guys, the results are in. And to my surprise, the the white ones have the lowest milliamps and they don't even actually get up to what they spec to be. The blue ones are closer for whatever reason. I think they're actually the same battery. I'm surprised they're the readout's different. And then of course the uh the power owls, they're 2100 to 2000. So out of all these batteries, they are the best, and I do believe they're a little cheaper per cell on Amazon. I mean, you can do your own research as far as the prices because they fluctuate, but these are the results, just so you guys know. So, advertised 2800, definitely not 2800, but still 2000, which are almost comparable, a little better than the actual Enelu brands. So, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just throw it down below in the comments.